it might not look like it. Get out of here. <laughs> but this family is in the middle of a food war. Not very fond of milk, just because uh, I hear so many things about what's added in milk. I love milk. I've been drinking it my whole life. I have it with every single meal. Individually, Jimmy and Gina can set aside their differences. You want to practice boxing? But the debate really heats up when it comes to their kids, five-year-old Eden and two-year-old Aria. I had uh, a glass of milk yesterday, too. Yeah, but that's yesterday. What about today? We'll give them milk later, if they ask for it. They're, they're not asking for they it right now. They always ask for it. No, they, well, they didn't ask for it now, so, so we can give it to them later. I don't see the big big deal of it. I feel like they can they should have milk anytime. You know, if they if they want it, they can have it. Some days when it's when he's had a long day or something, then it just gets kind of heated. That's actually a pretty nice version of our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about you how about you show me a pull-up? The Kims are not alone. <laughs> Seems many Canadians are avoiding milk for lots of different reasons. <sighs> for Gina, it's because she's seen headlines like these. like all these stuff in there, right? So that, that's why I'm concerned about it, like antibiotics, growth hormones. That's not good for the kids. And the new food guide doesn't help to clear up the debate. Yeah, I don't... I the, don't dairy? the dairy? Is, Would this be it? Yeah, this is like yogurt. But no milk. No milk. Yeah, there's no milk on there. It's a stark change from the previous one. Like, if you look at this one over here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this little rainbow-looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> this, the milk actually has... It, milk actually has its own rainbow. Jimmy and a lot of us grew up seeing lots of milk ads. Brought to us by the multi-billion dollar dairy industry. Yay! So who's right? To drink milk or not to drink milk? That's the ultimate question. And this is the first time I've seen you eat the yellow part. To get the answer, we need to break into the Kim's food diaries. Did you fill in that food diary this morning? Uh, not yet. Not yet? We're asking them to track everything they eat for three days. I didn't snack at night. Did you snack at night? Did I have like a granola bar? Granola bar. Or chocolate bar? Chocolate bar. That sounds about right. For anyone thinking about avoiding milk, you gotta ask yourself, can you meet all your nutritional needs without it? And can the Kims? This is gonna be fun. It We're is gonna, gonna meet be the fun. Yeah, it's gonna be and, great. And they've been doing these food diaries. To find out, we're bringing in dietitian Andrea Miller. She's reviewed their food diaries, and she's going to end this family's food war. Hi. 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 Hey, welcome, Everybody's welcome, here. Welcome. Thank you. Based on their food diaries, this is what they eat in a day. There's the milk. So a glass a day. That sounds about right yeah, for you. Yeah, for sure. For sure. At least a glass a day. And Gina, no milk on your plate. No milk. <laughs> but both their kids drink milk daily. They, they ask for it, so I can't always say no. I try to direct them to something else. Taking a look at what they would eat in a day, how do you think this family did nutrient-wise? So there are some really wonderful things about these plates. You're making food from scratch, you're eating together. That's all amazing. Gina and Jimmy are looking pretty <laughs> confident. But what's the truth? Let's talk about that biggest concern with the way they're eating, calcium. Health Canada's current guidelines say adults and kids need 1,000 milligrams of calcium a day, while toddlers need 700 for proper bone development. So how do the Kims stack up? So the kids are getting about half, and you two are getting about a third of what you need Daily. What do you guys think about that? Oh, I that's really a pretty need to, low percentage. That's pretty low, and, and it's concerning because um, my family has history of osteoporosis. I just assume I'll drink a glass of milk a day. Okay. I'm fine, but uh, to hear that I'm only like thirty percent, I'm consuming only thirty percent's worth. It's uh, it's shocking. Remember, mom and dad need one thousand milligrams of calcium, about three cups of milk. That's equal to about three bunches of broccoli. 20 cups of chopped kale, or two and a half cans of sardines with bones. So, to increase their calcium without adding dairy, how much more food does this family need to eat? This is Gina's plate. Gina would need to eat this much extra food. 
This is Aria's. Aria needs this much. Jimmy's. Jimmy, this much more. And Eden's. And Eden, he needs to eat this much. That's, oh my. <laughs> this, is, this is all in addition to in your plates we're, we're here. Wow. In addition to, you think that's doable? It's gonna be a huge adjustment, <laughs> but uh, just because the portion is so much bigger now. I'll be honest, I don't know if I could eat this and on top of this, it almost looks like an another daily meal. Right, You'd be eating all day. Yeah. But it is possible to do this without including dairy. It just means some really um, deliberate choices about what foods you choose. It seems like Jimmy is winning this family food war. But Gina's not sold yet. Remember, she's worried about all those extras she thinks are in our milk. The things that I hear about milk, the growth hormones and antibiotic and things like that, so that makes me a little bit concerned. So those are really valid points. But in Canada, we do not allow hormones in our milk supply at all. And if, if a cow does become sick on a dairy farm and does need antibiotics, that cow is pulled from the milk chain supply Canada has very rigorous standards around dairy products. Mm -hmm. That's something we don't need to worry about. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think about really, that? That's a relief. <laughs> Makes my life a little easier. <laughs> well, did we settle the food war at this house? I don't want to admit it, but a glass of milk <laughs> and adding some yogurt would definitely be easier. <laughs> it, it would be... And gives me the nutrients that I need. Absolutely. Well. I think Aria is already getting a head yeah. start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The battle is over at the Kim's. But some of you might still be wondering about all those other milks. To check out how they rank next to cow's milk, visit our website, cbc.ca slash marketplace. And are you in the middle of a family food war? Join the conversation on Twitter, Facebook, or email us.